Hey, welcome back. So this is the current state of our screen dialog. It has only the details of the screen. I want to add a section where we display the comments that are submitted to each screen in this dialog. So let's do that. So in our app, I'm actually going to create a couple of folders here to organize our components more. Otherwise it's going to be less uh, navigatable. So let's create a folder called screen and another one called layout and another one called profile. So in the layout, we're going to put the nav bar and then we're going to put the profile and edit details in the profile folder and the rest of them will go to the screen. All right, so VS code should fix the, um, the relative imports and change the directories. Uh, actually here in navbar, the post screen would come from, we go back one level and we go into screen slash post screen and the rest should be fine. In edit details, it's changed it automatically and it's opening it up, it opening them up because it's changing them right now and we need to save all files and close this. Let's go to app and here uh, where we get the navbar, we're going to get it from slash component slash layout slash navbar and in the home as well. Here where we get the screen, we get it from slash screen slash screen and from profile, we get it from slash profile slash profile. Let's save. Cool. No more errors. Uh, let's go to Actually, let's get rid of this warning. So let's go to home and remove Axios. We don't need it there anymore. Let's save. Cool. We have no warnings and our app works the same way it did earlier. All right. So let's add the comments. Let's go to the screen dialog. Here, we're going to import a component that we haven't created yet. Let's do import comments from, uh, see, this would be in the same directory. So comments like this and let's go at the bottom so here when we are actually not loading and we are rendering stuff let's go here under this grid right here so here let's do comments and we need to pass it our comments so let's pass a prop comments with the value comments and this comment referred to refers to the Actually, we haven't extracted it yet. We haven't um, destructured it, so let's do that. So it's going to be this comment from inside the screen. Because if you um, if you remember from the API, if we go to Redux, we go to the state. If we look at data screen, we have an array of comments. And if we don't have any comments, it will be an empty array. So here we do our comments, and let's save this. Let's go here in screen. Oh, there's a problem. Cannot resolve comments because we haven't created it yet. In screen, let's create comments.js. Actually, before the comment section, I want to add a, a separator. So here, let's do HR. Class name is classes. And unlike the one we have already, this is going to be the visible separator. Separator. And I want to move the code, uh, the styling for the invisible separator from here to the global theme. So let's go to util theme and let's paste it at the bottom because we're going to need it in comments as well. And here let's do visible separator. And this one is going to have a width of 100% in as a string actually, because this is JavaScript and it's going to have a border bottom of uh, one pixel solid. Let's give it a, a gray. So I'm going to do RGBA zero, zero, zero. So it's, so far it's just black and we give it the opacity of 10% or 0 0.1. It's going to be a light gray. So let's give it a margin bottom of 20 pixels. All right. So this is visible. Let me make sure I didn't misspell anything. I didn't. Cool. All right, let's go to comments and here we're going to bring in um, these three. So react component fragment with styles and prop types. Here we're going to need some movie stuff. I know already we're going to need the grid. So import grid from material material UI slash core slash grid. 
an import typography from the same material was slash core slash typography. All right, let's initialize a, a styles. And actually, we need the global theme, so let's take the theme and return this object. Let's spread the theme for now. And here, let's do our class comments extends extends component and here let's do our prop types so comments dot prop prop types here we're only gonna have the comments that are passed down so this would be a prop types dot array dot is required and here let's do export default with styles styles and comments all right here in the component we're gonna have the render render and here let's extract the comments to so const comments from the props this dot props and um, yeah, we need to return something. I saved there, but it doesn't like it. Actually, we need the classes as well. So classes. And here, let's do return. Here, we're going to have a grid container because this is the container. And inside of this, we're going to have, what are we going to have? We're going to loop through the comments. So let's do comments dot map. And for each comment, we're gonna actually uh, let's do curly braces because we need to destructure the stuff from inside comments. And if you remember, uh, comments, let me check the singular comment. Actually, we don't have one. Is there a problem? Yeah, I need to save here. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you in the state that um, the, com the comments will have a uh, four, four keys. So body, I just wanted to remind you, you probably know this body created at and um, user image and the user handle. So we get these from comment. So equals comment. And here we do return. So inside we are inside the grid, the container grid. So here let's do a fragment. And since this is a, we're looping through something because and when we're in React, we need to give it a key. And let's use the created at as, as a key because it almost never will be not unique. Okay, so here let's say grid, and this will be an item. Let's give it a width of 12. And inside of here, we're gonna actually nest another grid. So let's say grid container because inside of each comment, we're going to have a left uh, a grid item where there is a picture, the image, and on the right, there's the details of the comment. So here, this is, uh, here we have the picture. So grid item SM equals, we're going to have, give it a width of two. And inside of it, we're going to have the image with the source user image. The alternative, let's say comment, and uh, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna give it a class because otherwise we need to style it, otherwise it's gonna be massive. So let's give this classes dot comment image. And after this, we're gonna have a grid item uh, with SM9. We don't actually have to specify this because the uh, material UI can automatically give it the width nine but it just looks um, more readable in my opinion. So div, let's give this a class name of classes or dot comment data. I'm gonna style this div later. And inside of this div, we're, the first thing is gonna have, we're gonna have the, uh, the handle of the user as a link. So typography uh, variant, Let's give it a head of five, similar to the one in the screen card. So component will be link. 
Did we import link? We didn't. Um, let's import link. Import link from React Router DOM. And here the component is link. The two will be so backticks slash users slash dollar sign curly braces user. Um, yeah, user handle. All right. Uh, we're gonna give it a color of primary. And here, let's close this. No, actually, here we close it. And inside of the typography, we're gonna have the handle. So let's say at or without an at. Actually, let's just put the user handle. And here, oh, actually, let's close this. Don't know what this curly brace I added here for. Here we need to show the uh, when the when the comment was submitted. So typography with a variant of body two with a color of text secondary. And inside of here we're gonna format the date. Actually, let's import DayJS. Import day.js from day.js and inside this expression we're gonna say day.js and pass it the created at dot format and here let's format it um, so I have this in front of me h colon mm space a col um, comma tri uh, quadruple capital M d d and quadruple y all right, so under here, we're going to have uh, a, a separator. So HR with the class name classes dot invisible visible separator. Oops, here we're going to have the body. So let's say typography with a variant of body one. And inside of here, we'll put body. And yeah, and I think this is it. But actually, let's put a ruler between them. So let's do here, let's say HR, the class name of classes dot visible separator. Actually, visible, not invisible. All right, let's save. Let's save everything. Let's see what this looks like. So we open up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to style the image. So let's go here. So in the styles, let's add the, what was it? Um, comment image. Here, let's give it a max width of 100 or 100%. And here, let's give it a height of 100 an object fit in case the ratios are not actually one by one of cover and let's give it a border radius of 50% so it's rounded 50% and here we need to style this div as well because I want to give it some uh, margin uh, between it and the image so let's say comment data margin left margin left of let's say 20 pixels 20 let's save let's look at our div so here cool if we look at here we put the rule actually um we need to not put a ruler after the last comment so what we can do um we need to access the index so yeah the map gives us actually access to a second parameter of index and gives us where in which index we are so here let's take this ruler and let's put a condition here and let's say so you always want the ruler unless we're in the last index so let's say index does not equal if index does not equal the last index so comments dot length minus one so 
if it doesn't equal the last index, then give us the ruler. So render the ruler. Otherwise, don't render it. So on the last one, it doesn't render it. So yeah, now it doesn't render a ruler under the last comment. Cool. All right, so we get our comments. Um, yeah, I'll keep this video short. So in the next video, we're going to work on the, where are we? So let's go to the dialog. Before the comments right here, I'm going to do a to do, which is a practice I suggest you do. It, it keeps you, it reminds you of what you need to do, <laughs> of course. Here we do like a comment input. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.